right now what we're doing is we're doing our task case. Ariel and myself, Kim on the user interface, and Anna who's uh, looking at the graphs and trimming them down. We're on our seventh grid. This is the grid as you can see under Ariel's fingers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the uh, robotic head into the area. You can see these two little red dots. It's pretty cool to see. This is lining it up for the robot here. The robot is working within those yellow lines and it's determining which graphs are good for harvesting. The green little circle that indicates the next place the robot is going to look for a graph. And Kim has control on the user interface to decide if she wants to move a little further away. If she thinks that the sites might be a little too close to each other, she can control and basically just tell the machine to go to another site. So what's happened is that the robot has gone through the area where it's extracted the max amount of uh, grass out of there. And uh, what we're going to do right now, Ariel and myself are going to start extracting them out of the scalp and put them into the dish and uh, get ready for them to be prepared to go back into the scalp. Okay, so these are some grass we just extracted. And as you can see, these, is, uh, these have really wonderful tissue around there. And that's helpful when we go to place the grass, we have some tissue to hold on to. And at the bottom here, you can see the ball. That's, uh, that's what's gonna go in first. These are very strong, great looking grass. So I think we're gonna have a pretty good result. These are the grass that the robot has extracted and Anna has looked at and carefully trimmed um, so they go in just perfectly into our sites. This morning we started with an RTAS to extract the follicles and now as you can see Anna's here placing them into the sites in the crown here and uh, what we did was we just sort of followed the hairs that were here so we're just trying to recreate the crown and fill it back on in so it'll be consistent with all the hair that we have up in front here. And we're just following the angles and um, just one at a time very carefully into the sites and the graphs should probably in the next uh, three days or so, they kind of snug in pretty darn tight. After about a week, there'll be no restriction on what um, any of the patients can do. Just kind of take it easy for about a good week and let everything settle on down. On day eight, you can do whatever you want to do. And as you can see, Ariel has now joined, so now we have three people going at different areas of the crown. And uh, just to kind of come out from the periphery and start working towards the inside. Ariel, and I and Kim are using jewelers and at the pointy end of the jeweler, that's where the bulb is, and that's what gets placed first into the site. And it'll snug right onto the, the hole. The depth is about four to five millimeters, which is your standard size for a uh, hair graft. So how do you feel? I feel good. Any pain or discomfort? No, okay. not at all. You the hair start growing in? Yeah, I'm ready for hair. Yeah. So if you want to look back here, you can see all the graphs we placed here. This area down here is where we did the R task. You see these little circles, and probably about within 10 days to two weeks, they'll all be gone. And we'll, no one will even know we were there. Uh, I estimate about 5,130 hairs has really great density. One thing I wanted to ask you is, is how you heard about us. I had a couple of friends that told me they came here. Okay, great. So you were a referral from some of our other patients? Yes. So how long have Clarence have you been thinking about doing something about your hair? About 15 years. Okay, that's a while. And it's been an issue. Scared. You yeah. know, I hear so many gimmicks, but this is the deal. Yeah. So you have the Artis Robotic Procedure done, which is the most advanced transplant surgery system in the world. And I think one of the things you mentioned that you didn't want is the linear scar in the back. Right, correct. And so the artist, of course, doesn't give you any linear scar at all. So yesterday we transplanted the crown. We got a, a lot of hair, a little over 5,000 hairs. I'll double check your chart, but it was a little bit more than we expected. So if you decide you want to do something in the front at some point in the next couple of months or whatever you decide. Um, oh, I will get some. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put some hair up there and you'll be finished up. Okay. But, uh, tell us a little bit about the procedure, what your experience was. My experience was very, I felt really cared for. And I was really impressed that everybody worked, you know, took their time, how it worked, and it was, it was so organized. That's great. It was That's very, I was very impressed. That's good to hear. So you're um, a very uh, successful business person, and you've run a successful business for years, so you know what customer service is about. And I, I'll give you a hundred. Well, thank you. We, we try hard. I, we can't get much better than that, can we? Uh, any pain or discomfort today? Uh, no, last night it was a little... You know, at first, after everything started healing, not, not healing, but wearing off, but yeah. slept good, and this morning I feel great. Good. And it washed off and looked like nothing really ever happened. Yeah, so you were kind of a bit tender that first night or so. Yeah, a little tender, but nothing. Not a big deal. Not a big deal.